the new reign has opened with a constitutional crisis. The House of Commons is debating the government's bill to curb the power of the Lords. I ask this House to declare that in the sphere of legislation, the power of veto at present possessed by the House of Lords shall be so limited in its exercise as to secure the predominance of the deliberate and considered will of this House within the lifetime of a single Parliament. The method the government proposes is the limitation of the veto. Mr Asquith, the Prime Minister, heads a Liberal government. The Chancellor of the Exchequer is Mr Lloyd George and Mr Winston Churchill is Home Secretary. On the other side of the House, the Conservatives, usually called Unionists because of their opposition to Home Rule for Ireland, are resolutely opposed to any attempt to interfere with the Constitution. Before the end of the year, they will have a new leader, Mr. Bona Law. Also sitting on the opposition front bench is a famous advocate, Sir Edward Carson, KC, Solicitor General in the last Conservative government and leader of the Irish Unionist Party. The Liberals have not got an overall majority in the House. They therefore need the support of Mr. John Redmond's Irish Nationalist Party. And in return for their 85 votes, Mr. Asquith has given a pledge. When the constitutional ground has been cleared, one of the first acts of the Liberal Party will be to promote legislation to grant home rule for Ireland. In the past, the permanent Unionist majority in the House of Lords has always been an insuperable obstacle to home rule. But now, when the Parliament Act becomes law, it will be practical politics at last.